capital of the Pampanga province, the center nerve of Central Luzon, San Fernando City. I am Stephanie G. Tison and let me introduce to you to my team. In 1754, during the era of King Fernando VI of Spain, the San Fernando was founded. Fun fact, the city was actually named after King Ferdinand VI and placed under the patronage of Saint Ferdinand III of Castile and Leon. The San Fernando is strategically located in the heart of Central Luzon and a gateway to the north. Kagaling ne! Basta ka papangan, manyaman! Magluto! Gusto yung pangalita ka balit? Some of their best and jaw-dropping dishes are sisig, kare-kare, pindang damulag, pansit palabok, halo-halo, and many more. Kaya pininaos na culinary capital of the Philippines in Pampanga, uli sobra na kanyaman magluto, try ka bang pangan. Every year, the Pampangan people visit San Fernando for the Ligligang Parul or Giant Lantern Festival at Pascuhan Village. The festival features the most eye-catching, innovative, and meaningful lanterns. Each barangay of the city creates a giant lantern to exhibit our Kabalens talent and craftsmanship. For everybody's information, the city of San Fernando holds the title of being the lantern capital of the Philippines. Kachas ka! Aliyah mo! Culinary capital of the Philippines in Pampanga! Pangaling! Christmas capital of the Philippines ya mo rin! Wow! Aliwala talaga ng Kapampangan! Pero next, in addition to that, they might be wondering what kind of language are we using since the beginning of this video. Well, we are speaking the mother tongue of the people here in San Fernando City, Kapampangan. The Kapampangan language, or also called as Pampango, is an Austronesian language and one of the eight major languages of the Philippines. It is the primary and predominant language of the entire province of Pampanga and Southern Tarlac. Another fun fact, the language is honorifically known as Amanong Siswan or in English terms, breastfed language. Aba, aba, aba! Hanako man di pa talwi kaya ka. Kabalen? We are currently here at the Hero Sol. It also serves as an extension of San Fernando City Hall. It is a place where you can find local as well as national heroes in San Fernando, Pampanga. And to name some of the local heroes here in San Fernando, we have Adriana Sangalang Hilario, the wife of Governor Tiburcio Hilario. Fun fact, Adriana Sangalang Hilario became the first lady of the province. We also have Jose Abad Santos, the younger sibling of Pedro Abad Santos. He became the Chief of Staff of General Maximo Lizon's command during the Philippine-American War. A very interesting fact about Jose Abad Santos is that his remains were never found. After the war, several efforts were made but they never found it. Akala mo ba, Andre, pang sambot ko? Alia, I am currently here at the San Fernando Old Train Station. The San Fernando Station is a railway station of the Philippine National Railways situated here in San Fernando, Pampanga. It serves as the stopping area of the Filipinos and American prisoners during the death march that happened in 1942. At Kabalen, ini pa Did you know that one of the most notable passengers of this old railway station is none other than our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal? Well guys, it sure was fun exploring and learning new things about the captivating beauty of San Fernando City. Indeed, that from its remarkable history, mouth-watering to see phenomenal places, unique language, down to the awe-inspiring local heroes, talagang makabilib na rin kapampang. Sinabi niyo po! I see you in the motion! Kaya naman ka, Balen! Nananong ko pa! Pero naking makamulaling santing at kalugod-lugod na syudad ng San Fernando City, Pampanga! Once again, this is Angat, San Fernando! Abe ang natawag kay Pamanong Plus kay Santing na ning San Fernando City. Mekeni Malawos Kopo!